Um, all right, and speaking of you know tropics and impacts, boy, we've got another one cooking out there. This one, I mean, I think we're going to be describing. Somebody was calling it a monster at one point because it's going to be out in the open Atlantic between, say, the Bahamas and Bermuda, and just growing. It's going to be one of those perfectly oh. symmetrical. Is this this thing behind me? <laughs> it doesn't look <laughs> like it right now. Yeah. yeah, but some of the forecast models that we're seeing. I mean, the Hurricane yeah. Center is saying 145 mile per hour winds. Wow. Their very first forecast for this today had 140 on day right. five. And that's, you don't tend to see that from the Hurricane Center right off the bat. So it looks like it has an opportunity to get strong. Right now, I think it stays, for the most part, over water, which okay. would be great. But let me talk a little bit more about it and let you know, because it, we're not quite in that time frame where we know exactly where it's going to go, right? Five to seven days, three to five is better, <laughs> right? And we're seven to nine days out from where this thing's going. There's a look at it, though, right now. That's Tropical Storm League. Good burst of convection, as I showed you. Right there on the south side. It's got a really good envelope of moisture there. Winds right now at 45 miles per hour. That makes it a tropical storm. You can see the pressure is about 1,005 millibars. That started out about 1,008. So the lower that gets, generally the higher the winds are. And some forecast models are going down to the 930s, which is about 140, 150 mile per hour winds. So let's go over to the uh, weather board and let's talk about it. We basically have all of this it going on in the tropics, but there's only one that we're watching other than, than Tropical Storm Lee, and that's this one. This is Invest 96L, and that will likely come out here and recurve. So we're not really concerned about that one. That one's going to fall apart anyway. So this is the main one, and I tell you what, it's going to be a big one. You can see, again, we're losing this visible satellite, but you can see the infrared is showing that we've got still plenty of convection. Not a lot of shear out there, not a lot of dry air, very warm water. Guess where it is? Right out here underneath this track. And because of all that, we think it will get strong. 140 by Saturday. Look, anything over 111 is Cat 3 and higher. And that makes it a major hurricane. So we'll get that by Friday afternoon. Sunday afternoon, 145 mile per hour winds north of uh, Puerto Rico, northeast of actually Puerto Rico. Remember that curve, that cone, that's where the center can go. That's not the weather. There'll be some weather on the south side, but I don't think they'll get terrible in the islands if this track holds. Forecast miles, look at this, starting to do the curve a little bit earlier. Bermuda's right where the M is there, but not all of them are, right? Some are coming a little bit further to the west. This is the European. That's not it. That's it right there. That's the European forecast model. And you can see by the time we get to Friday, Saturday, into Sunday, there it is, north of the island. St. Martin, we'll have to keep an eye on it. Puerto Rico as well. There's Bermuda. But look at more of the turn to the northwest starting Monday and Tuesday. It kind of stalls, but did you notice how many more of these rings we have? That's deeper and deeper pressure. That's a stronger storm. That's happening Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then Tuesday night into Wednesday. It looks like it wants to start this turn more to the north. They tend to slow down before they turn. That's what the model's showing. But if you're looking, I mean, look, if you're from... East Florida all the way up through North Carolina, even New England. you got to keep an eye on this thing. Uh, hopefully it makes the turn. This is the GFS model. You can see a very similar setup Tuesday, Wednesday. Look at that. That's a big storm. And I'm telling you, this model makes it look like a machine, a full-on machine out there. And so hopefully it gets sheared apart. There will be some shear coming in from the west. There's actually a cold front coming through. That's what's helping to pick it up and pull it out. Not necessarily getting the front all the way through here, but enough to pull it out. Uh, Lee's the 11th name. This is actually, well, it's the 12th name, right? We want seven and we got five, but there's also another one that formed in January that didn't get a name. So it's been busy and we're running well above average as far as all the numbers go for the hurricane season.